Hello and welcome to Pokemon Sun, where we're going to be playing through on a Nuzlocke challenge. This is actually going to be my third attempt at a Nuzlocke challenge. Uh, first one that I've recorded, of course. But, um, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll answer this so it stops ringing. Um, okay. Hi. I guess. I'm aware. Okay. Sure. I mean, I guess so. Oh, hi, Rock Rough. Okay. All right. Sure. Well, let's just see here. Okay, you see, um, you're, you're asking which photo you should use for my trainer passport, but... I mean, some of these clearly aren't even of me. Let, let's go with this one, you know? The, the rest, I don't recognize those people. They're not me. Yeah, let's just go with the... Oh, it started off capital. The classic Redmond. Makes me nice and recognizable, you know? Gotta go with that uniform branding. Sure thing. That's me. Well, uh, uh, thanks, I guess. All right. Bye. Oh, fine. She's stealing a Pokemon? That's what it looks like. Hey! Uh-oh. Okay. And for the record, I'm doing Pokemon Sun for this run because I don't want this to be my main Pokemon game for this generation. Uh, my main game is going to be Moon. I just can't record from the other 3DS. And I do want to record my Nuzlocke run, you know? Wanted to have them on two separate 3DSs so that I could trade with myself as usual. Yeah, just for the record, I'm on Team Moon, I guess. Though technically, I, get, I guess I'm more on Team both of them. But yeah, this is the third Nuzlocke run I've attempted. The first was in Heart Gold, and I dropped that after about, like, five, six badges, just because I got distracted probably by Monster Hunter. Yeah, that was... Either Try or Portable 3rd or maybe 3U had just come out, so I dropped that. And uh, I also tried another Nuzlocke run with Pokemon Black, and I was taking notes on what was happening in my run, thinking, hey, maybe I'll do, like, a comic of it. 
someday. And then I never really felt like starting that. So I never got very far. I, I did take some notes, but yeah, didn't get very far. But this time, since, you know, videos are easy to make, I'm going to be going all the way through it. And if at any point I lose the Nuzlocke run, then I'll just be playing through like a regular Pokemon game from that point on. So we will get the entire game on here, but it'll be a Nuzlocke challenge for at least most of it. And because of that, instead of releasing Pokemon after they are killed, I'll just be shoving them in a box never to return unless I lose the challenge. But yes, first day under Alola's sun. It's a thing. Okay. Well, got some decent stuff in this room. Does not look like the most comfortable bed in the world. It's okay. So let's just see here. Okay, yeah, I, I know that stuff. Well, further proof that the Pokemon world is the world that we know and love. That is, in fact, a map of Earth. You can see Africa nice and big, Europe above it, and over there in the bottom left, we've got South America. So, yeah. Sure. Okay. Anything in there? Poor ditto pillow. Okay. Can, can I take any of them? Thanks for waking me up, little buddy. So I'll go ahead and ex explain the rules that I'm using for this Nuzlocke challenge once we actually get to a point where I can encounter Pokemon. Whoa, there's there's a second door. Does, does our mom actually get a room of her own in this game? Uh, sure. All right. Okay. Um, I mean, sometimes, maybe? There's at least three doors in this house that aren't for the front door? This is easily the biggest house a Pokemon protagonist has ever lived in. So let's see what's in here. Okay, sure enough, it seems our mother gets her own room, unless we've got a sister. Okay. So yeah, that's our mother's room. Then what's through here? Ugh, fine. You tell me to let him in, but he just lets himself in before I even get halfway there. Hey. Do you always just barge into people's houses without your shirt on? I mean, you've got a lab coat, but that's not a shirt. Um, not really. Uh-huh. Yeah, he says it's still daytime out here, though. It's, uh... I'm playing this at... Uh, it's almost 9 o'clock right now. So, yeah, I, I guess Pokemon Sun maybe has inverted day-night. Or maybe that's just how this little intro segment goes no matter what. I don't even know. Oh, so he uh, took on the Kanto Pokemon League, huh? Psh, 
sure. Yeah, um, I mean, our characters totally had this Meowth for a pet for a forever, so. Okay. Uh, I will see about that. Sure. Okay. I mean, maybe. Uh, I don't know. Why would I know? What's in here? Oh, we've got a porch. Okay. That's a nice TV. Is there anything in here? Not that I can find. Okay. Well, that sure is a hat. Also a bag, I guess. Okay. Sounds good. Nice not having to do any of the work. Oh, thanks. The game picked it out for me. Sure. Okay. Sounds good. Actually, the first point where we actually have control and aren't getting assaulted by random people constantly might be a good time to explain the rules. Uh, you didn't say which way to go unless I wasn't paying attention. Do I have any mail? Nope. Why do we have a garage? Can, can we even fit a car through here? I mean, it's clear a car has never gone through here because otherwise these little shrubs would be toast, but yeah. Okay. Sure. All right. Oh, good. Okay. Let us go. I would like to get a Pokemon. What do you want, kid? Do I? I've gone like all of 20 feet. Really? Is that what they call people who run? B-dashers? What about you? Oh, got it. Hey, I'm a B-dasher. So this is what Route 1 looks like, huh? It's very steep looking from the camera angle. Oh, okay. But yeah, um, the rules I'm going to be using for this run. Of course, there's the standard Nuzlocke rules. Uh, if a Pokemon faints, it's dead, and you can only catch the first thing in every route. Those, those are the standard rules. Uh, first thing in every area, to be more specific. But I am going to be throwing in some modifications because, you know, I, I don't want to do just the standard thing. I want to make it a little more interesting. So I'm going to have the no duplicates clause. So I can't catch anything that's part of the same evolutionary family as something I've caught before. But in exchange... I can mulligan exactly once per route if the first thing I find is something that I'm not allowed to catch. So, say I catch a young goose in route one or wherever, and then I find another young goose as my first Pokemon in route two, well, then I can skip over that young goose and try again. And if I find something that is not a young goose, then I can catch it. If I find a gum shoes, well, then that's part of the same evolutionary family, so I'm just screwed and can't do anything so yeah got that going and then uh there was uh 
since I still want to be able to trade with my main game using this one, I'm going to be uh, basically for legendaries and other scripted Pokemon battles. I'm allowed to catch them, but if they weren't the first Pokemon that I found in that route or wherever, I'm not allowed to use them. And the same is true if I find a shiny. So, yeah. That's about it as far as I can remember right now. I'm pretty sure those were just the only rules I was going to use. So, let's go for it. B-dash away! Oh, I should have been walking at least a little bit. And again, we didn't have too far to go. Um, I don't know. We, we, it's, we've just walked. I guess. No Pokemon yet. Oh. Hmm. Wow, way to just blow the kid off. Hey, look, it's a Pikachu. Okay. This guy says the word yeah too often. You know what I mean, yeah? Okay. Yeah, go young goose. Sure. Yeah. All right. Yay, we made it. Okay. Sure. Oh. Maybe. Okay. Sure. That tells me a lot. So, where is Mahalo Trail? Is it this way? Hey, kid, you know where people are? How about you? Okay. This is clearly not the right direction. And there's nothing over this way, so forward we go, I suppose. Hmm? Oh, look who it is. I think this might be the first Pokemon game to have shown us footage of something happening to someone we haven't met yet when not actively listening to a story from someone else. But whatever. Well, it sure is nice seeing this trail not covered in rocks. Oh. I wonder who she's smuggling. Well, that's not terribly exciting. Oh no, Spiros! Hey, you got a problem with some Spearows? I'm, I'm over here. Yeah, hi. Yeah, what's wrong? Spearows? Okay. 
Um, how? You want me to go punch those birds? I mean... Pew. Yeah, I mean, uh... Flying is strong against fighting type moves, but they are also normal type, so punches ought to be neutrally effective. Okay, so you want me to go punch birds. Got it. Hey, birds, I'm going to give you a punching. Or, you know, the bridge is going to collapse. One of the two is going to happen. Okay, why am I not punching the birds? This is helping to protect the thing, but it's not solving the root problem here. Okay, bye, bridge. Oh. Hey, it's that guy. By the way, this is going to be a blind playthrough. I, I'm playing through this version first. And I do not know what to expect. I've also been avoiding a lot of the pre-release materials, so... I only know a few of the Pokemon they're adding. Pew, indeed. Oh. Yeah, sorry, Nebby. Whatever. Oh. Oh. Pew. Oh, hey, it's a shiny thing. Oh, does it? Okay. Uh, no problem, but who's going to fix the bridge? She doesn't look exactly like a kahuna. Oh, does it? Never seen it before in my life, but I'll keep it in my pocket. Okay. But is it a secret to everyone or just to most people? I know that's a different franchise, but still. Lady, bags aren't Pokeballs, even if they have Pokeballs drawn on them. Just saying. Oh, you want me to walk with you? Sure. So this game clearly starts out more cinematic than most Pokemon games, which is interesting. It's a nice change of pace. And just straight back to town we go. That's good. Oh, did I? Oh. Okay. Hi, Lily. Yeah. I mean, I guess. I just met him, like, what, a few minutes ago? Uh, likewise? Oh, okay. Well, now he's the chosen one? Okay. I was kind of hoping they would give him an animation specifically to walking up those stairs, but I guess they still can't handle quite that, even though they are going for a more cinematic look to this game. Yeah, where'd you go? Okay, that, that doesn't answer the question. Oh, okay. Yeah, you did. He, he kind of saved me when... A bridge broke under me. Yeah. So that whole don't tell people about Nebby thing. And then first thing we do when we get back to town is tell everyone about Nebby. Sweet. 
Oh, okay. It sure is. Except for, you know, every time people start up a game, it'll be something that's heard again and again and again. So I guess technically it might be something heard every day. Okay. Neat. It's probably because I'm the protagonist of this story. I thought that's what was going to happen anyway. I'm already a fine trainer. You just don't know it yet. Also, hi. Okay. Sure. Alright, so I'm going to be choosing the starter that least appealed to me when they were first revealed. And it's that one. That one right there. Even though it's freaking adorable, it was the one that least appealed to me at the first reveal. And from what I'm aware of their evolutions, it evolves into a grass ghost type, and I'm a sucker for ghosts. My second favorite Pokemon type. Meow to you too. You're adorable and I want you, but not this file. Bork to you too. You are also adorable and I want you, but not this file. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, that one. Hey, Hooter. Okay. Oh, is that so? That's different. How do I make it choose me? Hey, little buddy. You want to be mine? Come on over here, buddy. Come on. I believe in you. Oh, has it? Um... That didn't look fixed on me. Come on, buddy. We'll be good pals. I just know it. Okay. There's a good little guy. Or gal. I honestly don't know at this point. Is that something that deserves a fanfare? <laughs> okay. Oh, does it? All right. Sure. Unless it dies, then it's going in a box forever. Yes, I have to nickname everything I catch. And this little guy, he looks like an Edgar. So there he is, Edgar. Uh, I believe his name is Edgar. How dare you? give him the wrong name there. Yes, Pew. So, is this not a big deal? I mean, there's people behind you. Okay. Yay. Is it Pokeballs? Or is it potions? Oh, it's a Pokédex. I guess that makes sense. All right. Sure. No, oh, thanks. We use passports now? Does that mean that we're going to be region hopping in this game? That would make sense. Because I'm pretty sure you don't need a passport to go between islands in Hawaii, which this game is based on. So that would be actually super cool, but we'll see. Oh, sure. Why not? How about Pokeballs, though? Can I have Pokeballs? Uh, is it me holding Pokeballs? Is that who you're forgetting? Okay. So... I get that they've gone for uh, 
more natural look to the characters in this game instead of having them have like two different looks, one for in battle and one for in the overworld. So, you know, we look like pretty normal, if stylized, people out here on the map. But then there's still this bump when we run into people, except we're clearly not running into them. Just a thing. Okay. Uh, what if I want to go this way? Ooh, they're not even going to stop me. But that's fine. Um, I want Pokeballs. That's what I want. How do I get them? Where do I get them? I want them now. I want them before I go into any tall grass. Oh, what? Are you going to battle me? You and your freaking Litten that I bet you totally have? Yeah. Uh, is it his Litten? I bet his Litten is where the fire is. Yeah, what kind of battle would that be, huh? Hi, how? What? You don't have a Litten? Then where is the fire indeed? So this is another one of those games where our rival type guy has something... A rival type person has something that's weak to our Pokemon. Yeah, thanks. Okay. Alright. So, Pokemon do indeed get hurt during battles, is what you're saying. I bet it's gonna be me. Yeah, Bianca in Gen 5, she used Pokemon that were weak to yours, but Charon made up for it. So I wonder if we're going to have a secondary rival in this game. Okay. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll just go win this thing. Well, you need me to actually talk to him? Uh, yeah, and I won't lose. I feel like I maybe should have talked to the other guys, see if they had some unique dialogue. Okay. Send out Poplio all you want, buddy. It's going down. Because, I mean, really, Poplio is no match for Edgar. What is leafage? Okay, for a moment I read that as petting the target with leaves, and that would be weird. Pelting makes more sense. Take that, Poplio. Free HP, how dare you? Goodbye. That's right. Okay, so looks like Edgar here is going to be better at physical attack than special attack. Though not by much. But that's actually totally fine, because his grass-type move is physical. Yeah, I don't really know anything about what abilities and stats the different Pokémon in this game have, so... Yeah, it'll be a nice little learning experience. Oh, was it? Okay. So, uh, what, what's tomorrow? Oh, you, you like my shiny thing? Sure. Lily thought it was mine, but really it was just a rock from the ground. I don't know, could it? Uh, yes, that is the thing that happened. Okay. Ooh. Okay, it's it's a little touch, but the fact that Kukui and Lily are talking to each other over there in the background, that's kind of nice. Makes it feel like the game isn't 100% about your character. Feels like the other characters exist for their own purposes as well as the stories. 
So fine. Well, yeah, of course I do. You have no idea how many regions I'm the champion of, but it's a lot. Sure. Okay, but will you also make sure my pack has Pokeballs in it? Okay. Oh, hey. Hmm. Hey, we're back. Uh, I got a Rowlet. Can you not see it? It's sitting right next to me. I mean, I guess there's a counter kind of in the way, but you're tall enough, you should be able to see it. Yeah, it's this little guy. His name's Edgar. Uh, because it's the one I liked the least at first. Uh, it's cool, can't you see? Wow, you would have given me the same response no matter what I said, huh? Well, that's nice. No, Meowth, you, you don't touch my bird. So, uh, yeah, it's the next day. I was going to say, I imagine it's the next day now. That's probably what that jingle meant. Wait, it's the next day and you were just talking about sunset? Is it the next night already? Okay, you see, if you're going to send me to see who's at the door, you can't use the door as an excuse to not unpack. Just saying. But you know what? We're going to find out who's there next episode. Because this one's gone on long enough already. See you then, friends. <laughs>